Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today I want to share with you three of my favorite fountain pen brands. I had been thinking for some time like how can I share with you my favorite pens and I have a ton. So um, I figured let's talk about the brands and why I like them. So let's turn the camera around and I will share some writing samples and explain why I can't live without these three fountain pen brands at the moment. Okay, so I did bring a couple samples of each of the pen brands that I'm going to talk to you about today. I'm in um, using my old background that I used to use a long time ago. You would know this if you follow me for a while. So not everything fits in here. I have a couple off to the side and not all of them are uh, inked up, but I do have one inked up of each brand at least, and we can do that kind of sampling in my onion skin journal. <laughs> uh, so let's get started. If you were trying to guess which brands are my favorite at the moment, I'm gonna give you three more seconds to get those thoughts in your head and then let's compare. Three, two, one. Okay, so these are my favorites. I have a couple off to the side and they're right here. So brand wise, Sailor, and this is also a Sailor. And then we have Leonardo. And this is the third Leonardo. And then we have Scribo. So let's get started with reasons why I love these brands. So first of all, let's talk about Sailor. Sailor is a Japanese brand. They sell so many different products. They are very, very large company. You can find them just about anywhere and they have so many different color options. They have so many different color combinations and there's just so much to look at. It's It can be overwhelming. I would say that my favorite style or model of their pens are the Pro Gears, which is just short for professional gear and they are the ones that have the flat tops. The ones that are kind of cone or cigar shaped are the 1911 and they have different size comparisons. Um, I probably should have brought a smaller size, but this is okay. You can still get the idea. This is what they would call a just a pro gear. And then this one would be a pro gear slim. So the slims are slightly smaller and even in girth they're not as thick and they also have different nibs so the pro gears have 21 carat and then the pro gear slims have 14 carat gold and this actually is not the original um, section that came with this pen I switched it out, which is another feature I do like, is switching out the different sections to different colors, combinations that I have, just because I want to use a different nib on um, a pen, then I will switch those out. They have a very unique writing style uh, or feel to them and they're very comfortable. They are more of a smaller pen, so if you do have larger hands, this may not be for you. However, they do carry a larger type of fountain pen, which is called the King of Pens, and they have it in multiple models, which I do not own and I do not need because these work perfectly fine for me. So I do have roughly, I think, 12 sailors and I just love collecting the different colors. I love the colors that are see-through um, and have glitter to them. And then I always love having like the different finial colors 
which just, um, it's just exciting to have so many different options of colors and to collect them. That is the first brand. We will be doing writing samples with this one. I always have at least one sailor pen inked um, with the other different type of brands of pens that I have inked almost always. I did ink this one up using my new cartridge and we will test that out. The one I do have inked at the moment is a Sailor uh, Pro Gear Mini and that's the one that's, that's um, currently inked in my rotation of pens. So next let's talk about Leonardo. So to be honest, I kind of fell off the Leonardo train back in 2017 when they came out with the Memento Zero, which is this one. And I love this pen. It was my first Italian pen. Leonardo is an Italian brand. And this was, I think it was an exclusive at Pen Chalet. They had about 250 models and this was number 35 and this pen wrote really well it actually reminded me of writing with a sailor because this pen had quite a lot of feedback which sailors do and um, I can f I find that with feedback I have a lot more control kind of like writing with the pencil so this one is a fine nib and it also comes with the cartridge converter. Some sailors do not come with cartridge converters, they just come with a cartridge, so be wary of that. Uh, but Leonardo always comes with a cartridge converter and they always have the really nice converters that um, have their logo on it. This one also has a blind cap, as do many of their models that aren't piston filled but yeah this was my very first one my very first italian pen i loved it and then i just kind of fell off because i felt like there wasn't really much else out there for leonardo um at the time and i was more focused on sailor and some other brands then recently i got my furore which is more of a cigar shaped pen and this one was just beautiful. All the crackling, this color is right up my alley. And again, very nice nib. And it has the blind cap with the converter that is labeled. And they're just really well made to me. I especially like the pens that have a converter in it because the converter has that metal on the end that gives it a little bit more weight and it doesn't feel so light being this acrylic uh, resin. They also have uh, a lot more options when it comes to the nib. They now sell a gold nib that I suppose are making in-house. This one is not a gold nib, it's just gold plated, but they also have the model that has the ink window, which um, I only discovered like, I think the middle of last year that they had these models now. So I decided to get this one, which is the Memento Magico, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I find that it is a bit bigger than the Memento Zero. Uh, the Magico is a lot lighter than both of the two pens, but either way, they are still very comfortable. These two are super smooth. For some reason, my fine nib is quite feedbacky, but I don't mind that either and they are just, they're just great. So the Leonardo, they do have quite a few different models. They have a Memento Zero, a MZG Mosaico, a Memento Magico, which is this one, 
and then a Memento Zero Grande, which is just like this, but bigger. A Fiore, which is this one, and then a Fiore Grande, which is a little bit bigger for people who have bigger hands. And then a Pura, and the Pura is similar to a Memento Grande, but the material is transparent. So they have so many more models now, so many beautiful colors. They are definitely using some acrylics that you wouldn't see in other large brands, um, which is really nice and makes them a lot more unique. And especially for people like me who like color. So I gravitate towards them because of that. I love the bands, the different bands that they have that they have. And then they have this really cool clip mechanism here that makes it easier to clip on to things. And I don't really clip this on to my clothing. I am not <clears throat> one of those people who need to clip pens to my clothes, but I do clip them into my pen pouches. And these are definitely really easy to clip in. Okay, so last but not least is Scribo. Scribo is a new to me pen company. I know they've been around for some time now, but uh, they are also an Italian brand. They are, I would say, a smaller company than the other two. They have three main models and I have two of them. So I have the Scribo Feel, which I don't think I've talked about yet on my channel. I recently got this about a week and a half ago and it's gorgeous. And they also have the Scribo Puma. They are just beautiful, beautiful pens. Very simple design, not too flashy in my opinion, but what is Really top notch is the fact that they feel so good when you write with them, <laughs> both of them. It's the nib, their nibs are 18 karat gold, even for the Puma, which is the one here. And then they also offer 14 karat for the flex. Now I don't have a flex because I find that I Normally wouldn't want to spend that much money on a fountain pen just for a flex nib that I most likely would not use very often. So I just got the regular nibs, which are 18 karat, and these are them. They are quite narrow, but they write so nice. So initially when I talked about my Puma, I talked about how it was a little bit hard because I was limited in how I could write um, it with different angles. This one has a lower angle writing um, nib and I it's okay, but it, I think it's because I got the extra fine that makes it even more difficult. If I had gotten a different size, I feel like my I would be able to write at different angles a little bit easier. This pen, I can write with it a lot easier at different angles. So sometimes I like to write like this. Sometimes I like to write like this. And um, I kind of alternate between both ways just because if my hands start to cramp, I need to adjust. I can't adjust as easily with this one, but I definitely can adjust with this one. So these pens also have flat edges. The Scribo has a flat edge on the front that lines up with the clip and on the back. So when you set it down, it doesn't kind of take off on you. And then same with the Scribo feel, all of these flat surfaces here makes it easier to set the pen down. So the Scribo feel is a piston fill and the Scribo Puma is a converter. I know some people were having issues with lining up the nib or the pen clip with the body barrel. 
and that it requires a little bit of a tug to try to get it to line up evenly. I don't feel like I have that issue, um, but um, I don't know if that's still an ongoing issue with some people, so there's that. But either way, Scribo is really great because not only do they have the 18 karat gold or the flexible karat gold, 14 karat gold nib, they offer so many nib sizes. So they have something even as small as an extra, extra fine, which is rare. Usually you have to get that ground by a nib smith. Um, they have an extra fine, a fine, medium, broad, triple broad and stuff. So they have a lot of unique sizes and they have an ebonite feed. These are my two pens that are the only pens that have ebonite feeds. And I find that the pens keep up really well. Although I don't have the flexible 14 karat gold nib, I think um, with the ebonite feed, your pen should be able to keep up. The ink should be able to keep up with the nib. Another interesting thing about Scribo is that they have limited editions. Pretty much, I, I could be wrong, but I think that majority of their pens are limited editions. They only run a certain amount, although they don't number them, but they only have a certain hundred, uh, a quantity of a hundred or more. And once when those are sold out, then they don't come back. So whenever you see a pen uh, combination, then or a pen body combination then definitely go for it if you can uh, because they don't they won't replace it with the same color they will just come out with a new color combination and that happens with pretty much majority brands but um some can produce more and you won't see those colors disappear so quickly I just love all these pens. I feel like they have a very unique writing style that it's different among majority of them. They have beautiful colors that come out and they are just so comfortable to write with. So let me know what are your top three fountain pen brands. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments. And thank you for spending some time with me today. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye.